Hey guys, Throwback Thursday. All right, so let me say this before we get started with this wonderful Patreon request. This is the third uh, Throwback Thursday in a row that's a request. They're making your job easier. Yeah, yeah I know, because uh, you I'm not, go not going to lie. I, I've kind of gotten tired of going back and looking for videos that I watched on Headbangers Ball. Like, you know, it's fun, but after a while, I was like, eh, I'm kind of bored. Videos too. Well, I'm not running out of... There's a lot of material to be had from, from my teenage years for us to, to check out. Videos, not so much, but there's a lot of songs. Yeah. But I was like, eh, I really had fun with that first request, which was Halloween. Then we followed that up with Norther, which was a Patreon request, which, which was absolutely incredible. And now we're going back to the mid-90s. I believe this song is from like 1995, something like that. And it's Dissection, Thorns of Crimson Death. And this is just audio. Some, no, no music video, just audio. Sounds badass. badass. Yeah. Uh, absolutely. So I'm really excited to um, to check it out. One more thing that got me excited about this is every week on Patreon, I put the list of, uh, of uh, bands, not songs, because I want people to be surprised. But I put a list of bands that we're going to check out the following week. So every Friday, I post, this is the bands we're going to check out next week, right? Subject to change, because sometimes we change it depending if a band releases a new video or not, right? And I put this one, I put Dissection, Patreon request. And everyone picked that one? Uh, no, like, people were commenting on, this, on, the, the, on the post uh, saying, wow, I wonder which song from Dissection. I hope it's Thorns of Crimson Death. And I was like, that's exactly the one we're doing. So uh, that got me more excited. That means it's a good song, yeah. you know, because people are commenting. We were also talking before this video about how if, like, a band with this type of name would be like a folk metal band. Never happens. Yeah, it never happens. I, I was, I was you, never, you, you never hear of a band called Anal Starvation yeah, or being a focal, focal metal You never hear a, band. A, a band called like Cow's Throat and then having like a really... Cow's Throat. Yeah, and then having like a really gruesome name. And then I, it's, like, I, I, really, I really feel bad. In, in the world of metal, I feel bad for two animals. The goats and the cows. More so the goats. I, I know there's the whole satanic thing like yeah. kind of plays on the whole goat thing. But they get a really bad rap, I, I, I must say. I wonder if the devil drives a car. I wonder if it's a Dodge Ram. That, that was a good one. Yeah. I can admit, that, that was a just, good one. It just kind of came to me right now. I wonder if he's driving around hell, going from like hell pit to hell pit in a Dodge Ram. Definitely not a Ford, because Ford is known for breaking down all yeah. the time. So I'm sure he wants to have a, a reliable method of transportation. So I'm thinking Dodge Ram with, with you know those testicles that people put in the back on the mm -hmm. hinge? They put those metal, uh, have you ever seen those? No. People that here sounds, in Canada, it sounds gross. People here in Canada, they do it. At the back of the, of the pickup truck, some yeah. of them, they have those hinges that they can pull a trailer with, right? So on those hinges, they put these metal uh, balls, like it's oh, like a bull's you know, testicle. Like, Oh, really? Actually, yeah, I thought it actually. No, here people use like these metal ornaments that look like testicles. In hell, I'm sure he probably uses human testicles yeah. on his Dodge Ram because he's he's the devil after all. You yeah. know what I mean? All right. Anyways, dissection, thorns of crimson dead. Let's do this. I gotta pump the volume.
I'm not expecting that.
before you say anything, I want to say something really quickly and then I'm going to let you talk. Uh, so far of the month of February, my favorite Patreon request. Oh, this is... My favorite so far. Oh, I, I gotta say, so I'm far... I'm just putting it out there. I'm just putting it out there. I, I mean, there's still a couple of weeks to go. Yeah. I'm just putting it out there. So, so far, far, my favorite. So far, we've, uh, we've only done three of these like Patreon requests that are uh, for Black Thursday. Two. And... No, three. No, we did one that was not a Patreon. The Halloween one was just a regular oh, request. Just... Uh, we did two. We did the Norther uh, one was a Patreon and not this one. Okay, well, it's, it's in the line of requests. Okay, yes, we did three in a row. Actually, three in a row. Yeah, and I every single every single song that we've done from like a request as a a, a throwback Thursday. A throwback Thursday. I bought in every song because every song was so good. And then when we used to do throwback Thursday, and you used to pick, it was like one here or there. I, I would say it was more there than here. Yeah. Uh, besides, I, I can think from Paradise the Lost. Paradise Lost, I think it's the only band that you've really discovered through my own uh, Throwback Thursdays. And from Which the songs. our Patreon uh, people. I think they pick better songs for you. Yeah. Wow. Perhaps. I, I mean, yeah, that's, that's really interesting that you say that. I, I agree with you from what I see on your purchase. Because if I go back to Throwback Thursdays, with the exception of Paradise Lost, maybe Megadeth will be another band that that so you yeah. discover through through those not many though uh, the, like you can't get into men of war if your life depended on it uh some of the other ones oh zentrix too yeah zentrix but very few honestly there's been very so, few like you could, we've done almost you a year and a half of throwback thursdays and i can count on like two hands one hand maybe the bands yeah. that i've introduced you to through a throwback thursday that you actually like maybe the people on patreon have better luck than me I think maybe they'd know better what you what you like. I'm just picking things that I liked growing up, yeah. not necessarily that you're gonna like. But hey, so did you dig this one? Yeah. I'm assuming you did. Oh man, that acoustic guitar there in the middle. You know what that needed? It needed a little bit of mandolin. Oh, I thought you were gonna say cowbell. Oh, You've no. graduated from cowbell over to mandolin. Yeah. Yeah, you're saying that just because you purchased one. Well, I purchased one for you this past weekend. Next time we, by the way, you, you're you're learning uh, Thunderstruck on yeah. the mandolin. The next time we do a Steven Seagal's um, video, I'll post a little clip of you doing the the ACDC intro because you're just learning it. You you yeah. haven't gone too far with it. But so the, for the people who are not on Instagram or on our Facebook page that they haven't seen you do it, I'll post it on that video. But anyways, we're getting sidetracked. Going back to this song. Uh, that middle bridge there with the acoustic guitar, I, 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 wasn't that really, that. I wasn't expecting that at all. And even the vocals, I was expecting dark vocals, but not necessarily this style of vocals. I really like it. It almost sounded like he, the, like the singer was in a pit, like in a hole. You know what I mean? Like there was a, a sense of, not an echo, but there was a, the sound had a little bit of an echo chamber to it. There was not like you were saying, you know, crimson death, death, death. death. Yeah. That was not the case. But it kind of felt like, he was in a hole singing, and it, and it gave the song a little bit of a dark vibe to it. It added to the darkness that, added that his... Like, despair, because he's in, like... Yeah, it added a little bit of despair to it. It added darkness, despair to a, a, a vocal sound that already has it, but the way it was recorded and how it sounds on the track, I think it enhanced that feeling. Uh, I really liked his vocals. I liked the way the song started. I liked the intro to the song. I liked that middle acoustic part. I go back to that, because that I wasn't expecting that at all at, at any point in time in the song that i thought that was going to happen yeah. i wasn't expecting it, but it was really i liked good. it it was really good and it kind of broke the song it gave the song that second momentum where there was more of an instrumental track than anything else uh, until he came towards really the bitter end of the song uh and then his vocals came back on again i, I really like the dynamic that this song has i like the the atmosphere in it this yeah. dark atmosphere to it this dark embrace I like, and, like, you, you and the chorus too you everything you said type of music yeah, it has that that really dark, like like that uh, doom and gloom. Yeah, that you know black metal slash yeah. doom. Like it has all of these different uh, atmospheric components that you're really liking it. Considering that if if we saw this, uh, not saw, but if we heard this song uh, a year ago or or over a year ago when we started the channel, you would have been like completely like <sighs> Is seven more yet? minutes. Oh. That would have been you, yeah. but you've changed a lot as far as your um, <laughs> as far as your uh, taste in music. Only, there's only seven more minutes. So you've changed a lot as far as your taste in music. I really mm. like the atmosphere of it, the dark embrace that it has, and his vocals really added to it. Like like I said, I, I'm 
we've done some really cool Patreon requests this month of February. So far, this is going to be my pick. So far, I and mean, we still have a few to go. Yeah. Uh, but by the way, is there one that that's? I'm 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 tied between the first one. From, Braun? Yeah. Well, the name of the band was Sour. Sour. Yeah, I'm I'm tied between that one and uh, Norther. Oh, you're tied between those two? For me, this one is the one that uh, that stands stands the test of time, as far as I'm concerned. I don't know. I, I really connected to this song. I really enjoyed it, and I enjoyed all of those little twists and turns that mm-hmm. they added to it. All right, guys, this is it for this Throwback Thursday. Come back tomorrow. We'll have more videos for you. See you guys. See ya.